Hello guys and gals, and welcome to another episode of Unique Items. Uh, today we have the Storm Guild Large Shield. This is a relatively low-level item, and it will be judged thusly. The uh, Storm Guild Large Shield is uh, actually a pretty decent shield for block chance uh, at level 13. It's actually a really easy way to hit the highest block chance cap at a relatively low level uh, because of that 30% increased, and it's relatively good block chance already. Um, it has a 72% block chance for Paladins, a 67% block chance for Amazons, Assassins, and Barbarians, and a 62% block chance for Druids, Necromancers, and Sorceresses. So it does make a very effective high block chance shield for pretty much all classes. It does have 54 defense, 2 to 4 smite damage because it is a normal difficulty shield, um, 34 strength, level 13, and uh, the 30% increased blocking is why it has such high block chance, as well as it also offers a 1 to 6 lightning damage, which actually at level 13 might actually kill some things. Uh, we have 60% enhanced defense on here, which does vary by 10%, and then we have a flat defense bonus added as well, plus 30. Um, also, it offers 25% lightning resistance, which makes it a very effective shield versus the stupid little beetles in Act 2 difficulty, which will haunt and plague your nightmares. Uh, and uh, the magic damage reduced by 1, believe it or not, will also help with those beetles by reducing the lightning damage that comes in by 1 before it hits your resistances. Uh, we also get attacker takes damage, uh, lightning damage of 3, which actually, again, could be useful at level 13 to actually kill some things. Um, and not only that, but it also has just a very sexy appearance, and I feel like we need to just go take a look at the appearance of this particular item real quick, uh, because it just, it's, I mean, look at it, it's like black and gold, and it has like just really nice accents on it, and it's just a very sexy shield all around. Um, definitely a very good candidate for a transmog system, should they ever add one into the game. And, um... The shield also comes in the ethereal version, uh, which you might actually use in Act 2 difficulty, because, to be honest with you, it's probably not going to break very fast. And uh, by the time it does break, you may have moved on and found yourself a better shield at that point. Um, and that one is 65 defense, um, with a uh, strength requirement of only 24. And, of course, uh, it does have a durability of 39, so it's not too bad. Um, as well as smiting and stuff like that doesn't actually reduce the durability of the shield, it reduces the durability of your weapon. So it's really just uh, how many times you get hit. And uh, especially if you're a caster class or something like that, which is hanging in the back more often, the ethereal version might not break that fast at all. Now, we can upgrade this item, um, and upgrading it, it may or may not be the best idea, but uh, to do it, you're going to need a shale, a tell, and you're going to need a perfect diamond. Um, and this shield is going to upgrade from the Storm Guild Large Shield uh, of 54 defense, 72% chance to block, 2 to 4 smite damage, 34 strength, level 13, to the Storm Guild Scudum. Scuffed Scudum. Skilladoodle, skilladab, doop dab, I'm just kidding. Uh, defense 124, 74% chance to block. As you can see, we went up by 2% there on the block chance by upgrading it. Uh, we went up to 11 to 15 smite damage, which is definitely a lot better than the original 2 to 4. And then we have 71 strength requirement and level 30. So uh, not a terrible upgrade for this particular shield, although if I did have a shale rune laying around, I might want to just make myself a rhyme shield. However, 74% chance to block is actually pretty sexy, and uh, I'm not going to lie. Um, that could definitely make you a very tanky character. Now, this shield does, unfortunately, not offer a lot of the things that you would be seeking as you enter Nightmare Difficulty, like high resistances, like an Ancient's Pledge, or all resistances, like a, a uh, Rhyme Shield, that cannot be frozen. And so it does have a lot of stiff opposition, for sure. Uh, the Ethereal version can also be upgraded with a Shale of Talon or Perfect Diamond from 124 defense, 74% chance to block. Uh, that's not the ethereal, I'm sorry. Uh, 65 defense, 72% chance to block, 2 to 4 smite damage, 24 strength, level 13. To 164 defense, 74% chance to block, 11 to 15 smite damage, 61 strength, level 30. Now, um, as far as upgrades go, it's not a bad one. I just don't really know if I would specifically want to spend my Shale and Talrune on that. Um, I would probably be more inclined to spend that on a rhyme shield as i was saying earlier now we can upgrade this another time and i know the first upgrade wasn't really that great but the second upgrade probably isn't going to be that great either but we're going to do it anyway 
So we're going to go from 124 defense, 74% chance to block, uh, 11 to 15 smite damage, um, 71 strength, level 30, to a Hyperion shield of 220 defense, 75% chance to block, which means we're probably above the cap. Uh, let me just do a double check on that real quick because I would like to see what we're looking at um, as far as the Hyperion shield goes. So the Hyperion shield is a base block chance of 54% on a Paladin. Um, and we get a 30% increase, so 50 to 60, 60 to 70, 70 to 80. So we're looking at 84%, unless I'm wrong. My quick math is terrible. So let me just pull up a calculator for the, for the most simple calculation in the world of 54 plus 30, uh, which does give us, yes, 84% um, block chance on a Paladin. Um, on an Amazon, Barbarian, or Assassin, we are looking at 49 plus 30, uh, which is 79%. And the Druid, the Necromancer, and the Assassin, or sorry, the Druid, the Necromancer, and the Sorceress are 44 plus 30. Uh, so we're looking at 74%. So this shield will have a very nice block chance of uh, above... 75% for every class other than the Necromancer, the Druid, and the Sorceress. And even the Necromancer, the Druid, and Sorceress will have a 74% block chance, which is not bad. Um, I don't really think that's really worth the upgrade to um, 14 to 32 smite damage, 127 strength, and level 60. But, um, meh. Uh, the Ethereal version can also be upgraded from 164, 74, 11 to 15, 61 strength, level 30, to 329 defense, uh, same 84% block chance, uh, 14 to 32 smite damage, 117 strength, and level 60. You know, I, the block chance is really nice, but the shield just lacks anything else to make up for the fact that it gives you really nice block chance. Like, I... I feel like it needs something else, like the resistances need to be better, or the defense needs to be better, or something. Or it needs to have something special on it aside from just the block chance. And I'm not going to say that it's a bad shield, because that block chance actually is very sexy. And defensive-wise, um, it would make it extremely easy to hit 75% block chance at an early level, like level 13, when you would get your hands on this shield. And um, I just can't really see myself upgrading it with better options available later on in the game. Uh, let's take a look and see where you could potentially find yourself a uh, <laughs> where you could potentially find yourself a storm guild, and uh, we'll do that over on Silas Pen real quick. Eek. Uh, storm guild, the guild of the storm. There's so many storm items. There's literally. Storm Chaser, Storm Eye, Storm Guild, Storm Lash, Storm Rider, Storm Shield, Storm Spike, Storm Spire, Storm Strike. They love their stormy names. <laughs> now, because this is a uh, low-level item of only level 13, I'm going to put in about 50% magic find. And uh, we're going to be looking at this uh, from a perspective of a level 13 character. Like, I want to get my hands on this and use it at level 13. So, um, Andariel, actually, let's limit this to normal difficulty. And uh, we're looking at Diablo, Mephisto, Bale. Uh, Duriel has a pretty good chance to drop it at 1,368. Problem is, by the time you fight Duriel, you're already, like, well past level 13. Level 13 is, like, the end of normal difficulty the beginning of Nightmare. Or, sorry, the, no, sorry, the end of Act 1, the beginning of Act 2. I don't know why I was thinking difficulties. It's it's acts, not difficulties. Um, so, a, the Arcane Sanctuary Summoner seems like one of the best choices here at 1 in 2,131. Let's take a look at Super Uniques real quick. Uh, Fangskin in the Claw Viper Temple has a pretty good chance. Fire Eye, he's easily farmable. Dark Elder, Beetle Burst, uh, Radamant, Ancient Kala Solace. All these are relatively easy to farm in normal difficulty, Act 2. Uh, nowhere in here am I seeing anything that's normal difficulty, Act 1. So it does likely look like you're going to have to get this in Act 2. Uh, but quite honestly, 
the lightning resistance and the block chance would be extremely useful in Act 2. So finding this in Act 2 would be a, a very, very good thing that could happen to you. Just throw that on for a little while until you get yourself a Rhyme Shield or something better. But um, it could definitely do you well on a wide variety of characters for quite some time just simply because of that massive block chance bump. Um, I, I think, honestly, throwing on an early level Paladin so you didn't have to put any points into Dexterity, you'd probably end up with a very nice uh, high block chance, and it would increase your survivability immensely in those early levels. Um, there's really not a lot much more to go over with this shield. As always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos, even when they're stormy ones, and we're looking at a very sexy-looking shield. I mean... I mean, let's be quite honest with each other. That shield is just sexy. Anyway, as always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos. And uh, if you want to keep watching, subscribe.